Ivan Katz here, and looky here. This is a 1957 Fender Stratocaster Sunburst. Yes, it's real. And the thing about this is it was an absolute paradigm shifter. Electric guitars before this were all basically based on acoustic guitars with a pickup. This one changed everything. I'm gonna talk about it, I'm gonna play it. So smash that like button, subscribe, and search Ivan Katz and any guitar for guitar reviews, especially my Fender Mustang collection. 16 guitars I played in that, that's pretty cool. But let's get going on this 1957 Fender Stratocaster. Now some of you purists might be noticing something different and I'll tell you about that in a second. But uh, yes, and also I'm gonna play my 1957 kind of Gilmore copy, also to compare it to, but uh, that's a newer guitar. This one, wow, 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 look at that, beautiful. It has been played, it was uh, my friend's brother's guitar and uh, when he was 10 years old, he got it in 1967. And uh, the neck was really, really, really messed up, basically. So they, I think they paid about maybe a couple hundred or even a hundred dollars, a couple hundred dollars for the guitar. But for about a hundred dollars, Fender agreed to take back the neck and fix it. And what they did with the fix is they gave him this 1967 Fender neck. So that's kind of interesting. The 57 neck would have been an all new shape for Fender. It was pretty controversial. I mean, it went, it was kind of like a big V shape. And this one is like a middle, mid C they call it, a mid C shape. You see it? Mid C. Yes, so the uh, V shape neck, no. This is the 67 medium C shape. And it feels very nice. This guitar feels very good. Now people, Playing this would have been like Buddy Holly and the Crickets, you know, and, you know, maybe uh, someone in Elvis's band and everybody in America from like Ed Sullivan and, you know, when Buddy Holly and the Crickets played, the Beatles, everybody wanted a Fender Stratocaster. This 1957, it came out in 1954, the Strat, but, you know, this is 1957, only a few years later. And again, this is when they first changed the neck and made a couple little changes. So this revolutionized the electric guitar. This is an icon right here. And to have a 57 in your hands, even though it has a 67 neck, who cares? That might be a preference for some people. People are very picky about their uh, fender necks. I like this neck. It feels great. I like the big, uh, the big uh, fender Stratocaster there, really nice. And um, you know, everything about this guitar is uh, really, really, really cool. You'll see later that they do a pretty good job in replicating it with my 57 reissue. But um, let's get going on this one. Let's hear how it sounds, shall we? Let's go. So what they would do, this is a three position switch, and what they would do, they would try to put it right in the middle. This is before the five position switch, so they would try to get it right in the middle. And you can sort of do it with this one, isn't that cool? So uh, let's... Kind of warm woman sound there. But it's got the twain too, see? These are just such versatile guitars. Even with the three settings, they're super versatile. And you know, when you add the five pickup settings, wow, just so versatile. And, and you know, everybody goes after the vintage ones because of these sounds, they're so distinct. And you know, it's, it's, it's amazing, it feels like, you know, a lot of other strats you might play, especially with the 67 neck. 
a little more into the modern era, but the sound of it and the vintage, vintage feel of it, it's in pretty good shape. I mean, you know, it was played and only minor scratches and things like that. I mean, uh, this is in really good shape. It has the uh, original case too, that's pretty cool. Um, and it's actually a uh, white case, I'll show it to you, it's kind of cool. Here's the case, very, very, very cool. So it is really the complete, complete package. Okay, so we also have the whammy bar too, which is kind of nice. But um, yeah, it's, uh, it's an icon, this guitar, and uh, let me just keep on going with it. Here we go. <laughs> Let's get some distortion going. Why not? Fender Stratocaster with a 1967 neck. Okay, here we go. Just for comparison's sake, my 1957 reissue. Here we go. Oh, and by the way, one last thing with this 1957 Fender Stratocaster. This is probably towards the end of 57 because it's got the tricolor burst. You see the uh, red in the middle there? Some of them are just kind of black to like uh, yellowish, but this one goes black red to the yellow. So it is a tricolor sunburst, making it quite, quite rare for a 57. Okay, now for the 57 reissue. Here we go. Okay, and here it is, my 1957 reissue. Now the story behind this one is I saw it, uh, I was on the Sunset Strip in California, and actually it was before Sam Ash closed. Sam Ash is closed now. And uh, they had this sitting there, it was all dirty, it was kind of up high, and I said, hey, that looks like a nice strat. And it, it uh, had a white pick guard and, uh, well, in like, what, you know, the cream pickups and that sort of thing, and I said, look, that's kind of like David Gilmore's. If, if, uh, if you can make it look like David Gilmore's uh, and I can keep all the original stuff, I'll take it. 
And so we made a deal and I took it. And he sent me a tweed case with it. And uh, that's it. I've had it ever since. I love it. And because, uh, you know, I wanted a David Gilmore copy, but um, they're pretty pricey. And this one basically does the same thing. I got the shorter whammy bar, uh, the David Gilmore type whammy bar. I don't have the Gilmore switch. I, maybe I should have that put in. But um, at any rate, it's still, uh, it's a nice David Gilmore clone to me. So I like it. And, you know, having just played that 57, it's so cool to now say, hey, how does this really compare? I was surprised how much they look alike. Obviously that one's sunburst, this one's black, but um, by the way, this one's in really nice shape because uh, it is a bit of a case queen. I do play it. Um, you can see it in some of my videos, but um, you know, it's a nice guitar, so I keep it in the case. A lot of the stuff behind me, you know, I just did my Fender uh, Stratocaster with Squires compared to, I compared seven Squires to one American Standard Strat, and it's a different one than this one. So check out that video, and again, just search Ivan Katz and any guitar review. Smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Leave me a comment as to what you think of these great guitars, and I'm gonna compare this one to the 57. And remember, this one has the 57 neck, too, as they see it. So it's got the actual smaller print on the headstock, which is kind of interesting. I think I like the look of the other one better. But um, this one, I, I do like the shape. I like them both, actually. That's kind of a middle C, and this one is a, it is more of a V-shaped neck. There's no question about it. Uh, and I like the thick neck, so I do like this one. But uh, let's just see how they sound. Let's go. Let's go. sound. I actually have a whole video on the woman sound you can watch on my TikTok. That's a video on TikTok. Teach you how to get the woman sound. If you want to see me playing uh, an Eric Clapton song, watch White Room. I play all the instruments and sing it too. Just like Hotel California. Check that one out too. But uh, all right, let's keep going with this one. Let's hear how the rhythm sounds. <laughs> Let's distort it. Why not?
Oops, I didn't have that plate on very well, did I? Anyway, so um, that's how it looks without the plate. But it's on there on the 57 to uh, replicate it, so I think it's very cool. Anyway, um, there you have it, my uh, 1957 reissue sometime in the 2012 area, I think it was reissued, if I can remember. Not quite sure. Um, but the real 1957 Fender Stratocaster. How about that? You don't see one of those every day, do you? I want to thank my friend Ron for letting me review that one, and also the Gibson Les Paul. Check that one out. 1975, one of three guitars. That's Indian Rosewood. Check that review out too elsewhere on YouTube. Watch any guitar review on Ivan Katz, uh, Dan Electro, just search for it, and Ovation, and uh, what else do I have out there? So many guitars, honestly. Um, there, there's a lot of them to search Ivan Katz Gibson, or, you know, also check out my Dan Electro collection too, my Free Your Mind music video, my car reviews, just search driving Ivan in any car, U2 in Dublin, the Chelsea Hotel, and all the famous stuff that went on there. Andy Warhol's Life in Pittsburgh, and uh, also Jim Morrison's Life and Death in Paris. I show you where he died, tell you all the theories about it, and I pick one. I'm ha I have a video coming up on Jimi Hendrix in London as well. Also, all of the ladies he was associated with, also his life and death in London. And also, very interestingly, a Beatles video with an extraordinarily special surprise. Could I have actually ran into a beetle when I was in England? I'll just tease that for a moment. But you definitely want to watch that Beatles video when I put it out. It was very cool and very special. Plus, I saw so many cool Beatles places in addition to that. So check that one out. And uh, remember, they were early adapters of the Fender Stratocasters. They had them, light blue ones. You went out and bought a couple of them. Uh, their, their manager so they could play them when they were recording. So don't forget that. The Stratocaster was important to the Beatles too. So there you have it. Thank you so much for watching. Smash that like button, subscribe, leave me a comment, let me know what you think, and I'll see you on the next guitar review. Thank you so much. Um, I'm Ivan Katz.